Probably because I had it muted. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing that you didn't have sound because we were just bragging about how organized we were. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, it's on now. Thank you for telling us. Okay. Yeah, they're saying we're on. Probably because I had it muted. Okay, hang on. Oh, shoot. That's my phone. <laughs> I was trying to... I just, I just, I love what I do. <laughs> I love that I can work with somebody who laughs with me at myself. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, what we were saying is um, we were telling Diana Parker that her wig's going to be in any time and that we were so excited when we, after last week, we got tons of orders for the chocolate jet. smoke, the jet in the smoky collection and nothing was back ordered. So Aesthetic is uh, shipping everything. It's on its way. And so if you've ordered jet or um, orchid. Um, I ordered jet. I ordered but orchid, what I think what's but my happen, orchid got, has already uh, yeah, been sold. I think my jet's already been sold before it even got here. Yeah. Y'all ain't right. Yeah, I know. Cobbler has no shoes. I used to that <laughs> yesterday. I was like, that's the truth. That's why I had my hair in a ponytail or a wig, because I, you know, I work with all these hairstylists and can't even get my hair cut. I know. I know. Oh, it just is what it is. Okay. Oh, who's on? Let's see. Tracy? Oh, someone wants to know my nail polish. I don't know. It's like K31. <laughs> It's supposed to be purple, but I think... It is purple, but it, it's got sparkles in it. Yeah, like gold sparkles. It's time for me to do my nails. And someone's talking about your wig already because she looks amazing in those dark wigs. <laughs> Misty made me put this on. It's the only thing we have left in the store in Chocolate Smoke. Everything I else just, is I, gone. I literally looked her in the eye and I said, you are going to buy that wig. Yeah, but then we sold it before it got here. I mean, they don't so. call me bossy for nothing. I know, I know. Hello oh. from Alabama. Ecuador. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Good to see you. Well, see you. Well, talk to you. Right. Right. But what are we talking about today? Uh, little. We got someone from Little Elm, Texas. Today, we are, well, you made an announcement. We're going to do brown wigs. So we've done blonde, we've done red, we've done gray, and we've had a number of requests from people say, why don't y'all ever just do brown? Um, just the highlighted brown. Tell it, you know, show us what different browns are available. So that's what we're going to do today. All this Please. is for brunettes. And you know what? I just, I've been kind of blonde for the last year. I went back dark because I miss my brunette Nova hair. Nova Scotia's here. Okay, first things first. I okay. have on January, which is my probably favorite. I say that about every single wig. But <laughs> I have on January from John Renault, and it's in the FS63027, which is the toffee truffle. It's my favorite brunette of the moment. I also have this color in Brooklyn, and it's like a six with a little bit of red and copper highlight. And if you saw our client consultation on Kelly, Kelly is on her second one in that color, isn't she? Oh, she yeah, but loves, I think she she's wears ordered it. A, oh. She's ordered a third one, but yeah. I, I'm trying to talk to her and getting a different color. Yeah, she loves that wig. I mean, it looks great on her, but I just I'm like, well, if you're gonna go for three, go for a Lori one. says I've gone to the dark side. Yes. All right, I've got with the dark I've got Avalon on by uh, Aesthetica in that beautiful chocolate smoke color. Um, it's just it's big fashion trend right now for this color. So um, probably a lot easier to buy a wig than to do it to your hair. So, for sure. Yeah. For sure. All right, so we're just going to make a run through. We're going to show you different um, companies, some of the browns they have. We are not covering every brown for every wig company we're just showing you some of the things that we thought would show you a little bit of different variations um throughout every company that we carry certainly not every company that's out there so you ready you re i'm ready i'm ready All right. i'm ready you remember did you ever watch uh, to kill a mockingbird that is like my you, favorite movie ever you can quote like almost that whole movie sometimes she'll just sit here and quote it well when it's scout's first day of school she's sitting at the breakfast table and you know, Jim's ready to go, and she's like, I'm ready. And so every time, that's just what I think of. I'm ready. All right, we're going to do Winter from uh, Aesthetica, and that's W-Y-N-T-E-R. And, of course, we'll have everything listed. I'm going to do Caramel Kiss Rooted. Um, I'm doing the R610, which is just like what I would consider just a medium brown. Oh. These caps are so comfortable. They I really are. Say. I mean, I love that January. In fact, someone just messaged me this morning about it, and I think it runs a little small because she was asking if it came in petite. 
and it just goes to show. I think it does because when I put this on, it just feels good. Okay, so what do you? You've got six ten on. Yes, R six ten, which is just the blend of a six and a ten, which kind of make it look like an eight if you're a hairstylist, right. you know, <laughs> about mixing colors. Um, but it's a good rich medium brown. I've got caramel kiss rooted, which has some. Um, Red and blonde highlights. It's got the darker root. The root um, is RT4. Yeah, and it's it's not. I mean, when she says red, it's more just like a a gold, a warm golden brown. Maybe caramely. Um, it's a really it's a color that I always detested. I don't know why, but then all of a sudden over this last year, it's the blending of it or something. I I really like it. In fact, I I really want. Um, what's that wig that I want? This one. In that color. You yeah, you want this one and you no, you want Preston. And Preston and Caramel Kiss oh, yeah, Preston. has been back ordered and it just ships so it's on its way. So we'll have well, maybe it. I'll get that since I can't have my jet. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway, this is just cute wig. We'll show you yeah. back. Yeah, it's 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 not that. So little neckline. This looks like you have naturally curly hair that you've just scrunched. Yeah. So anyway. Real cute wig by Aesthetica. You want to switch colors? Yeah. Um, and this is a, a lace front mono part. Um, it's not a full mono top. And I will list all of these colors and wigs down in the description box after we finish the video. It'll just take me a, a while. So, so don't just be patient with me. This 610 really doesn't have a highlight, low light. It's a fully blended color. I know you already kind of said that. Um, but it's it's a it's a beautiful color. This looks good on you, but I don't I don't care for the color on me. So maybe I don't want that wig in this color. And again, of course, a lot of it has to do with the lighting. No, it does look good on you. Everything looks good on you. We've established that. The people have spoken. Yeah, but look look at look at the it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> She's just saying that. Do you, okay. did, did you did you put your contacts in? Because you're up to two contacts now. So did you oh, put both I, of them in? I did. And you know what? I got them on the first try. Oh, we're making that's headway. how I knew that you know today was going to be a good day, and that's how we were so organized. And then you know I forgot to take the meat, but anyway. Wow. Okay, so winter. Now we're going to do Epic by uh, Gabor, and we've had Epic. I don't know, probably six months. Um, Epic's a great wig. Um. Oh, there's a question I was going to. Okay, Sandy asked what wig that is again. That was the Winter by Aesthetica, W-Y-N-T-E-R. Um, let's see. It parts on the, the the left. Left, yeah. Can we compare Caramel Kiss to Toffee Truffle? So Caramel Kiss has um, a blonde highlight running through it. Toffee Truffle does not. Um, but they're both warm. Oh, well, yeah. We can show you on video. Oh. Oh, you've just, got it. You've got it. I do? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I put it in the wrong box, too. I have a box issue, y'all. Okay, so we'll show you right here. It's it's It doesn't have quite as much blonde, like Kim said. And it doesn't so have this it is, doesn't have that darker root that you see here, the darker hybrid root. So this right here is the Caramel Kiss root. This is the Toffee Truffle. <laughs> so anyway, there they are. All right. Okay, I'll give you that because you got the box for that. And so epic. I'm going to do this in the GL48, which is another blend. This is GL1014. So this is a light brown. You know, my natural color is just an ash, a medium ash brown. And when I started here, it hardly came in anything. So I'm really excited about today. I don't know why we haven't done it before well, because... Brunettes, just a normal brunette was hard to find. It was also hard to, really hard to find anything that was cool toned. You know, everything, if it was brown, they put a warm highlight through mm -hmm. it. So this is Epic. Epic is lace front and it's a full mono top. Um, this looks extremely shiny. I know um, this one does. Um, dry shampoo again. So um, yeah, it's yeah, the lights are picking up a on. lot of shine on this. Um, I forgot to adjust that light. It's probably okay. my fault. Well, it's still shiny, so you still would want to use dry shampoo <laughs> yeah, on this color. Yeah, definitely use dry shampoo. But it's an—I mean—it's a good blend. Um, 
that's pretty. That's got, you can't really see the color variation, but it's got some lighter and darker pieces. That's beautiful. That's a good, rich yeah, this brown. Yeah, it is, without going too dark. So a lot of times if you start going to like the six and the things like that, it just gets pretty harsh yeah. if you're not used to that coloring. But let's switch. Okay. And someone just asked a minute ago if John Renault has a color called Eclair. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes they don't use the names that they attach to their color numbers. They just use the numbers. And here, someone's saying YouTube's going out. Here, um, we only use the numbers. So I'll have to research that. If you want to shoot me an email, um, send it to mwigboutique at gmail.com. I will check and see if there's a John Renault Eclair. You kind of bang in an epic before. You know, I've cut like a little wispies. Okay. But yeah. I just think it just hangs nice without it. I try to talk people out of that. Because yeah. I think if they want to bang, there are some other options we can do that already have something, you know, kind of put in there. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah, if you don't want heavy, just feathery, yeah, you can yeah. do that. Yeah. Just, you know, kind of razor around eye level. Well, yeah. This is a cute wig. It is cute. Oh, we didn't show the back. Oh. I'll, I'll let them see your back. So just a little bit of a stack. This is all wig. That's Those wispies are not Kim. Um, just made to kind of look like a natural hairline. So just a good a little bit of a stacked bob. So, all right. And again, super comfortable. Yeah. The Gabor cap is super comfortable too. Uh, Kate says that you look like a socialite. <laughs> I'm just a social butterfly. Just flit around. And... <laughs> you kind of are. Well, I'm not, but you kind of are. Yeah, I went to a charity event this week. And that was so much fun. Um, it's a charity for the community. and I went to Target. Well, you always go to Target. <laughs> is, that, is that contributing to your charity, Target? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. We'll knock on the wall later. Patrick's our neighbor next door at the pool store. He's great. He always checks on us. Okay, what's next? Minka. Diana, I gotta tell you, UPS came while we're on right now, and there's boxes over there. Mm. It could be in that, so as soon as we're done, we'll check it out. Um, someone keeps asking, um, and I'm sorry, I know who you are because I mailed you something. Um, the one asked the Aurora Borealis, but I can't remember your name. About Veda, we're not gonna do it, but if we have time, I'll sneak back there and grab one and put it on for you. Okay, M what did I, what did I say, Minka? Minka from John Renault. Yeah, Minka is a lace front full mono, and I'm I'm putting, I'm doing the eight RH fourteen, and I'm doing eight thirty two. Eight thirty two's um real comparable to Noriko's ginger brown, and the eight fourteen is like that signature medium brown color. Um, if you want to just go like a, like I said, my, this, this is literally my biological hair color. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So not this healthy has, looking and pretty, but this has a little bit of wave to it, not curl. Um, it's it. This wig always pretty. works well if someone wants to wear something back because it has that natural, just a little bit of wave without being like curly. And a lot of people just don't like the beachy wave look, right? And so they'll do this. Let me turn around. So just a little bit of a. Almost like you have natural curl that you mm -hmm. just kind of blow dry. Um, and the Aurora Borealis, is, her name is Rebecca. Rebecca. So. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, Sharon wants to know what size is my head. Does the full moon mean you can change parts? <laughs> oh, I think she meant mono. She, it says mono. Oh, Do you I have can, your glasses? No, I don't have my glasses She asked me if I have my contacts in. I'm going to ask her, where are your glasses at? Well, I'm just really aware that the full moon is Monday. <gasps> And so whenever it's a full moon, you know, yeah. things things get a little crazy. And so I looked at that and I'm like, full moon? Oh, that's really funny. Can you <laughs> change the part? <laughs> well, you know, they say it's best to cut your hair. on. Is it a full moon or something? I can't remember. The Farmer's Almanac used to say something about when the best time of the year is to cut your hair, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, I don't know. But, you I, know, don't know. I don't know. All but right, anyway, switch. the full moon does mean you can change the part. <laughs> if you have a wig with the full moon, yes, you can change full, the part. Full mono. So, okay, wait. Did what you mean doing? to say full moon? Were you being funny? Because yes. you said full moon. I'm okay. in it. I'm, okay. That's, you know, I'm a comedian. <sighs> Previous wig name that I had on? Uh, we're going to put it in the um, 
notes section. The Bob was the epic, though. If Bob was talking. epic. Um, <laughs> Deborah's wearing a full moon right now. <laughs> okay, again, these are both. You know, I'm going to slip and tell customers, oh, that's a full moon. <laughs> I think what's interesting about us wearing these two is um, these are both level eight. Um, but hers looks so much lighter than mine because of the color it's blended with. Am I too far down? I'm too far down. So, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. I'm getting so distracted by these comments today. You should do a wig console with Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, y'all need to hashtag the real Trump, whatever it is, and see if he'll come down and do it with us. We'll, uh, shoot, we'll go to him. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go. Anyway, what bring I bring your bring your line, shears though, because he needs a haircut. My ADD's been real bad. Okay. Eight. Mine looks darker, and hers looks lighter because of the blend. Hers is blended with the fourteen, which is like a golden blonde, and mine's blended with the thirty-two, which is a red. So even though if you're like ordering from online, if you can't get to a wig store, and you see eight this and eight that, they can be totally different. Yeah. So just keep in mind these are both. Debbie, eight. I know you said mono and not moon, but. I don't have my glasses on, and so I read Moon, and Misty corrected me. I'm so sorry. I mean, it was my mistake, not yours. But I love that. That <laughs> that made my day. And while we're going to the next one, um, someone asked a minute ago about they had a wig a wig sedent, a oh, wig accident like that at a party, and they're asking what mana, uh, what grip we're using, and we use the Milano. It's the original wig grip. So you got to get you one of those, girl. Uh, <laughs> If you go to our video that talks about our favorite products, there is an Amazon link there um, to get it from Amazon, or you can just call the shop and we will shoot one in the mail to you and get it to you. But you have to have a wig grip. If you've got hair, you gotta have a wig grip. All right. All right. <clears throat> he looks like an exploding hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. Okay, on to the next one. He kind of talks like an exploding hamster at times. Uh, we're not going to get into We're not going to get into politics. Right. <laughs> I already got in trouble one time for saying I was coming from church. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, anyway. This is Bewitched. Yes. This we is both have this wig. We both have this wig. This is Raquel Welch. Um, and I'm going to put on a color called SS10. So it's an interesting color because it's a, it's a real pretty rich brown. But they've put a dark hybrid root into it. And Bewitched is an asymmetrical cut. It's super, super short. That's the color I have it in. And Where I have, is my Bewitched? I have that color. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You're right. So this is just super short, super sleek. I love this wig. Marsha has this wig, too. We'll have to take a picture of all of us wearing our wigs. Um, what color does Marsha have? She has the same as me, the SS10. Oh, okay. Which, this, this is not, even though it is a root, it's not that dark so it's not some people like the idea of having a little bit of a shadow but not the big contrast right. so the ss10 is beautiful i think it doesn't come in very many things though no it, it doesn't but we wanted to show it to you because it's, it's, a, it's a color that's really really pretty and this is the golden walnut that kind of is a little bit warmer than the cappuccino mm -hmm. but um anyway it's it's, a, it's a little cute. bit more gold than cappuccino i just like this wig i need to find mine isn't that terrible but I have all these wigs, and I don't even know where they are. I know, but I, would, I was hanging up a wig today, and I was like, there's wigs back behind there. I think I have some that I've forgotten about. <laughs> oh, too. I know you have more than me, because you wear more than me, but oh my goodness. All right, let's switch. All right. Bewitched. I used to like to watch that show when I was a kid. Oh, I did too. Do you know what drove me crazy? Hmm. Didn't they have like three Darrens? It's like... I don't remember. I don't know three if they Darren. fired the Darren. I know there were two Darrens. And they I know like there were okay, I think so. That's a good trivia question. Someone <laughs> needs to see. Oh, Kate just yeah, asked she, if Regina. <laughs> she did wear her wig home. Um actually no, she didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. After you're right. after we stopped the consultation, she asked about a halo and so she ended up getting a halo in Mochino. Yes, the long, the long, the, long uh, the new long halo by Renea Paris, and she got a cute little blinged Texas hat, and she walked out with a big old smile. So I think I have a picture I'll post. Okay, we yeah. a picture from yeah. So, uh, Heather says she just joined. This is the Bewitched from Raquel Welch. I have on the SS10, and Kim has on the SS825, which is a uh, golden walnut, golden walnut shadow shade. Okay, Diane is asking if it has a lace front. It does. It's not 
it's like a pretend. Okay, like I'm I'm folding it up so you can see it. There were two Darrens. Sorry to interrupt. Dick York. I remember Dick York was he was the first Darren, I think. Yeah, and then Dick Sargent. The so let's show this. Um, it's probably easier to see it like this. Um, so you can see the zigzag there. It's just a little bit of a lace front, just barely. Yeah, it's not. Like I said, I don't know why they did it, but anyway, they did. Know. But you know what I love about this wig? Now that we're talking about the cap construction, it has this awesome silicone. Yeah. This right here, it has a silicone here, a silicone at the crown, and then along the back. And that just, even with your wig grip, it just, wow. Yeah. Sticks. Yeah. So it's great. All right. Bewitched. Raquel Welch. Full mono top. You're not going to be able to flip the part on that because it's asymmetrical. So it does have a full mono part, but you're not going to be able to flip it because of the way it's constructed. And if you're not a asymmetrical person, that's fine. I understand a lot of people aren't. I love that look, but um, I have cut that point off on that right mm -hmm. side. It doesn't make it look exactly symmetrical because it's of the layering and the way the one side's done, but it, it does work. So if you decide that you don't want that longer and the shorter. Okay. Now we're going to do Jolie. Oh, who likes this <laughs> wig? I don't even know what this wig is. And so, um, but we're going to show you brown. I'm going to put on marble brown, and you're going to put on, is that ginger or toasted? Toasted. Toasted brown. Toasted. So the thing about marble brown with Noriko and Amore and Renee Paris, sometimes it has chunky highlights, and sometimes it comes fully blended. So... Um, you really, if you order anything in marble brown, you really need to be sure you know exactly what color it's coming in. Um, this has the highlights. You can see. It's got kind of caramely highlights. What's so funny? These comments. Deborah says, my cat acts like Mrs. Kravitz at the window pulling the blinds down so he can see the neighbors. That is so funny. I am, because Ms. I am Mrs. Kravitz. That's what I nicknamed Patrick next door, the one I said hi to earlier. Because if you want to know anything that goes on in the shopping center, Patrick knows. And he's not going to be offended. He'll no. wear Mrs. Kravitz as a badge like, of honor. He's like, yep, yep, yep that's me. Yeah. <laughs> so I love it. Okay. okay I'm going to, while, while they're looking at your wig, I'm going to go get the other marble brown so people can see. Okay, so um, Jolie is what I normally wear, which you guys know. This is what it looks like with nothing done to it, so you can see it's pretty heavy here. And so that's where I have them. It's got a very straight part. Um, it's heavy here, so I have them mess up the part um, and then give me a little bit of height there, and then we trim out a wispy bang there. Um, and then I'll show you the back. It's got a cute stack, a little bit of fringe. It's angled. Um, and then what I love, they actually put an extra bump here so you get more fullness in the crown. That's not something everybody can accommodate, but I love it. Um, question, can a wig grip hinder new hair growth? No, it actually protects your hairline. So um, yeah, it, it's not going to hurt your hair at all. Okay, so I'm back. It's all right. Brown. Toasted, toasted brown. brown. Which is really, really close to ginger. It just has a little bit more of the toast. Right. <laughs> Okay, now, Kim was talking about the marble brown colors. So these are both Noriko wigs. This is the Megan, and she has on the Jolie. So you can see, this is more blended. Has a lot more of the highlight to almost make it appear one color light. That's, that's, in, our rep knows this, so there's no offense. That's the pretty marble brown. I don't care for this one because it, it takes on kind of a coppery, yeah. orangey color and that is just be this is beautiful yeah and that's so. why we want to point it out because if you are ordering online and you think marble brown looks the same it does not it's it's one of the colors that that they really really change i can't think of another one that that happens with harvest gold harvest gold um marble brown um deborah says we're not reading facebook comments we are i'm sorry I'm so uh, we don't specify which is which but um it's, I'm telling you, it scrolls so fast. We try to hit every comment, and it's hard. And um, But she did ask if Jolie came in a large size. It does not. Um, they have started making a few of the Noriko's in large cap. Reese is for one, um, which is my favorite. You don't have to. If you can't even talk about her favorite, <laughs> i got to talk about mine. Um, but um, it can be stretched. So if you're an average cap and you feel like it's a little tight, you can stretch it. And what I do with mine, and I'll tell you, I 
do not recommend this for most people. I cut the, the things that tighten, I cut those out. I've got a lot of hair I'm putting in there. My head's on the large side. I will never, ever tighten my wig. And so I cut that out as a permanent change just to give me more stretch, and it makes it way too. more comfortable. I do so, too. okay. Um. I don't know why they don't make all the wigs in all sizes. I don't know why they don't make more large cap wigs. Um, we get asked that question a whole lot. It's coming up on the it feed is. today. But if you and that's a Facebook question. <laughs> <laughs> but if you talk, I mean, we we're limited for space here, and we have a ton, a ton of wigs. But if you can just imagine making every style in three sizes, I don't know if that would even be possible. Anyway. All right. Okay. Um, Joel Lynn, call the store if you want to. I'm sorry, Jody. You would like to buy the Laura wig? Just call the store nine seven two three eight zero five three zero six, or you can email one of us, um, and we will get back to you um, as soon as possible. Okay. Um, there is another question. It says, um, "For now, I only wear Palm Springs Bond from John Renault. I would love to order um, other than John Renault, and don't know what most matches. That is so." variant to to company and to style like say for instance john renault makes palm springs blonde and maybe what do you say 10 percent of their wigs it's right. a newer color um so you really just have to find the style you want and then try to find the closest color um but one that kind of is similar to that is a new color by raquel it's part of the new cruel tone colors i don't remember the name it has a 23 in the in the title maybe yeah. 17 23 something like that yeah but check that one out so okay so jolie Noriko. All right. What's next? We didn't switch colors. <gasps> we sure didn't. Barbara, I'm delighted that you can see us live too. Thank you for watching. All right. So now Ooh, this I'm one Barbara feels Brown. tighter than that one. Yeah, it does. You really, you're right. It does. But look how much lighter this looks on me than it did on you. It's so weird. Yeah. You know, it's really depending on skin yeah. tone and stuff. But it does. Your I, first Jolie, was it toasted brown or was it ginger brown? It was, um... Ginger? <laughs> oh! I have a visitor. Can I show her? Yeah. Come here. You've heard Misty talk about being May May. Well... This is my baby. Looks like she got her makeup done. Oh, she, you're a little princess oh, today, aren't man. you? man. Guess, guess what? Huh? This is her birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday. Tell her how old you are. How old, are you? how old you are? She's three. I'm glad you came to see me. What? Her mom's back there too, but you know, we just care about the babies. Oh, now I kissed her and I had a like, sparkle. <laughs> sparkle on my lip. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. So the next wig is Kinsey by Noriko. <laughs> I have glitter on my lips. Oh, yeah. All right, Kinsey by Noriko. You too can be a princess. <laughs> Off topic, what's it say? But what makeup foundation do you ladies wear? Well, it <laughs> is so funny question. that you say that. You know, I got out of the house this morning and forgot all of my makeup. All of it, except my foundation. Because I bought new foundation and it was delivered to me. And so I was able to use it today. And I can never figure out my foundation. So I have two. I have a dark and a light. And I mix them together. And what brand are they? Uh, yours? Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. Um, I don't know. We figured out. I'm wearing Wander. I, I mean, just ordered Wander. It's always such an issue. And I've bought so many different That's brands me. that it's hard to keep up with what we've got because um, I'm never pleased with my foundation. So You know, I always go back. I've tried just about everything from Estee Lauder to Maybelline um, and everything in between. And I really, really like, I always go back to it. Hello from Spain. I know it's not it. But I'm trying to wonder, and this is a powder foundation, so we'll see. So, Kinsey is a full mono top. It's not a lace front. They've got a little bit of a bang cut into it that you can sweep over. It's got some nice layers and some curl. I've got chocolate swirl on, and chocolate swirl has a really deep, dark base, and then they put some lighter highlights um, through it that are 
shoot, that are blonde, and then they also put some caramely. I'm not highlights. digging the love me, but it's not about the, the style, it's about the color. And I have on the ginger brown. Oh, let me see this. So we were talking about how ginger brown and toasted brown are very similar. So this is the comparison. It's just the toasted brown has a little bit more of that highlight color. Mm -hmm. And I love this, I, I just love this color. Chocolate swirl. Okay, it's so been Kinsey one is another one of the styles that they put that extra bump there for extra fullness in the crown. So um, it's a lot of hair. It's not something that everybody can wear, um, but it's a beautiful wig. So it is. let's change. All right. All right, chocolate swirl. Gosh, we get our arm exercise on these days when we do all these video, all these switching of colors. Yeah, just that little bit of highlight helps. Although it just luckily has one, one stripe right there. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little stripey, doesn't it? But yeah, if we just maybe change the part, it's it's still pretty. I kind of like it. Yeah, that one I couldn't get to hang right in front of me either. Oh goodness, see this. It almost looks like like a Joan Jett or yeah. I think that wig. one would actually be better if we could have bang in it. Yeah, I think so too. This one's hanging. sweeping good, but that one would be yeah. good if you. Okay. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, one more. The last one we've got two different styles because we wanted to show you um, two different colors from Tonya Beverly, and we um, only had one e one of each. So we're gonna show you what we've got. I'm doing Bennett. I'm doing Hunter in hot cocoa. And this is Kalua. This is 100% hand tied. It is. Lace front. They also put the silicone tabs in there, so um, it's good about sticking here. So I don't know the actual color they say that these were blended with, but this is like a an eight, I would say like an eight with the golden blonde highlight. Yeah, it's got a really golden highlight. And then Hot Cocoa is a blend probably of an eight. And they put it, it's a more blended highlight. Um, I think it's an eight or you think it's more 10? Mm, it's like an eight. It's, it's, I really don't know because it's just really pretty. It's a popular, yeah. that is a very popular color for Tony Beverly. Um, and so is this. And one the, the great thing about both of these styles, because they are fully hand tied, they compress well, mm -hmm. so they don't look like a lot of hair. And they're styles that a whole lot of people that have long hair, but maybe they're petite and they don't want the volume. These are great styles. Long. Let's switch. Okay. Uh, we, and this time we need to show the back because they need to see how, oh, Bennett's yeah. really, really long. And um, Hunter's got great layers. I feel like sometimes that we, I feel like everybody that watches this watches this every week. And I know they don't. I mean, so I feel like, oh, they've already seen that wig so many times. But in truth, someone may be watching for the first time and they may catch the replay. Thank you, Jody. She said we're better than TV. I guess it depends on what you're. <laughs> Mm. Okay, I love this wig. I've always loved Hunter. So yeah, Hunter's great. Framing. So this is the back of Bennett. So it comes down about mid. You can see where it ends. About mid back level. And the Hunter is just shorter. Yeah. And it just these have a good amount of hair. When I, and I always say a good amount of hair doesn't mean like a lot of hair. Yeah. You know, it has a good amount in the fact that it's not very much hair. All right, I know. Well, I already know what we're doing next week. What well, are you gonna tell? Or are you gonna not tell? I'm gonna tell. Is it gonna be a surprise? Well, I was getting, um, I was signing my tax return yesterday with my CPA, and so it's his idea. Oh, <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> he says that we need to do spring break here. And so we've Does got that a, mean we get to have a spring break? No, no, no. We, I, but I we get to show people. Break. And so we got to figure out what that means. But I think it's probably going to mean what you could do with your wig to make it spring break hair, or what you could buy to well, get. Well, a lot of people travel on spring break. Um, a lot of people do think so. You know, we might even, I don't know, do a ponytail or ponytail do mm -hmm. or. Uh, we the may, halo again. Yeah, we may show the halo again. And like so. one lady came in yesterday and she bought a wig to go to Hawaii for spring break. And she just wanted, wanted something short and wispy. 
and it's so windy there they wanted something that the wind blows wouldn't matter so anyway that's spring next break week. hair spring break hair you should all get a petition together and sign it so we can have a spring break in me <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. I don't have to give Kim a hard time. I know. I know. Oh. Pam and Pollock Pines. Hi there. Pollock Pines sounds like a pretty place. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're talking about, like, there is a place in West Texas called Roaring Springs. And I think maybe, like, a week out of the year, it actually has water in the spring. Well, I ain't ever seen still, it roaring. It's still a beautiful. But it sounds so yeah. pretty. It's in the panhandle. Thank you for ta telling me I look better and or I look okay in brown. Uh, they didn't say okay. They said gorgeous. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. I can't. Okay, well, right. I ordered the orchid. Hopefully, I won't sell it before I get it. But um, Well, I think it's already sold. I, I do. Well, no, we, I ordered three more. I know, but didn't we get another call? I guess so. I guess anyway, you'll find out. I'll get one eventually. All right. All right. Well, y'all have a um, very... T there's a question oh. about, do we ever sell our old wigs? No, we don't. And I feel really strongly about this. And so this is something that I want everybody to consider. There are a lot of people that have cancer and have no financial resources whatsoever to buy a wig. A wig is a luxury item for them. So what we do is we wash our wigs. Our old wigs are in very, very good condition. And we donate them to the cancer center. And I would encourage everybody to do that. It will go to a good home. It will go to someone that will really appreciate it, and they may not have had any other way to cover their head um, with hair. They would right. have to wear a scarf or make head coverings out of T-shirts that they had at home. So um, that is our passion, and that's what we do with our old wigs to make sure that everybody can have a wig when they go through chemo. So. That's right. All right. Sorry. That was a question, so I wanted to address it because I, I fine, really, really I feel strongly about that. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we'll see you next week. All right. Y'all have a great week, and we'll see you. If you have any questions, email them to um, one of our email addresses. You can go to it through our website, or Kim's is Kim at Mimi'sWigBoutique.com. Mine is mwigboutique at uh, gmail.com. We will get to you as soon as possible. If you do leave us a message and we don't get right back right away, we will. We don't forget about you. Yeah. And make sure that you like and subscribe to um, our channel mm -hmm. on YouTube and share. Oh, also the 20K in 2020. It's Mimi's 20K if in 2020. Hashtag. We're trying to reach 20,000 in 2020. So if you post your picture of yourself in your favorite wig, um, you need to hashtag Mimi's 20K in 2020. And as soon as we hit 20,000, we will be giving away a ton of stuff. Yeah. 10,000 was nothing. Well, 20,000 is going to be. And we're going to be more organized about what the rules in the game is. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> but the most important part is that it we have fun. It would be us if we weren't. I know, I know. Disorganized. Even yeah. when we think we're organized, we're not organized. So, you know. Yeah, it's just, it's just how we roll. Counts. Yeah, we have fun. All right, we'll see you Thank next you week, guys. guys.